gusty wind, the high of 54, then up near 60 with sunshine followed by clouds Saturday. I'm actually with the meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's weather station. 1010 winds on 92.3. Winds you time 8.53 to stop checking those numbers now. Let's all look toward New Jersey. The winning Mega Millions ticket worth $1.13 billion was sold in New Jersey. Tiana Bombada works at the ShopRite in Neptune. I'm very happy that I was able to celebrate I'm getting better at finding these things, and that's what the story is. That, that our most recent paper is just a more sensitive test and less susceptible to false negatives. And it allows us to hone in better on what the threat is. Yeah, the, the whole um, the, the test that I think the CDC. Session. Coming years, he types of timekeeping, astronomical and atomic were involved because there's a fractional difference between the two. It adds up to whole seconds every few years. Thing, of course, is that disinflation is a big part of getting down to 2% eventually. It, it's been happening in the last couple of Iowa State lost their second round game to Stanford on Sunday, 87-81 in overtime. But behind their star young center, Audie Cook, the future looks bright for Cyclone fans. Remember that Westwood One will start their coverage of the women's NCAA tournament with the Sweet 16 on Friday. With today in women's sports, I'm Amber Theo Harris on Westwood One. Bowing to the Wizards, the Fenway are failing, and also there's an 11 to 4 advantage in that second chance points. Wizards only have four second chance points this whole game. That's got to change. Left the circle, Marvin Bagley will hand off. Have to change that with Sean Holmes. Bagley left the lane, was out with a towing group. But like Claxton drives, gets in the. The August TF. Yeah. That MGM, the king of sports books, unleashes the spirit of Las Vegas with that MGM rewards. Every time you make a wager at Bet MGM, the passenger vehicles up to $36 for large trucks. Fees will also be attached to for hire vehicles. The plan is to implement this in June, but lawsuits challenging it still have to play out. I'm Julia Papa, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 908. Traffic and weather together on the 8th. Here's Kelly Dillon. We're busy on the Connecticut Turnpike northbound from exit 15 through 17 in Norwalk. Construction tonight here in the right lane starting to back things up a bit. Now we'll have a bit of rain and drizzle early tonight that a steadier rain will develop into the overnight hours. We'll get down to 46 for an overnight low. More rain and drizzle tomorrow into tomorrow evening, which could be heavy enough to cause ponding on streets and sidewalks and some flooding of low-lying and poor drainage areas. High temperature tomorrow pretty close to 50. And that rain will be mostly over with by around midnight tomorrow night, although it could linger longer than that in some areas, especially across Long Island and Connecticut. Sweet days of 3.55 p.m. on 77 WABC. You live or work in Connecticut, you get sinus infections.